we really need to think about how can we infuse opportunities for our kiddos to do that hands-on science learning in the classroom starting at a very early age. Current Energy allowed us and donated a partnership with California Science Center Foundation. And with that foundation, we're able to now work with our teachers and provide training in the area of next generation science standards. Yeah. <laughs> they teach multiple subjects. So they feel that I have to teach all these subjects and science is the one that they feel that they're not as comfortable and confident. So that is one thing that we build on them, that confidence that you know the sciences, you could do it. You tend to omit science in instruction because you focus so much on reading and you focus so much on math and sometimes you feel like you don't have that time because of all of the hands-on, but what this is facilitating us to do is to show how it's done, how it can be incorporated and how reading and math can also be done simultaneously. Honestly, I'm trying to gain the most that I can just because I really do want to do the best for my students. I want my students to receive the best education that they possibly can. That's what I'm a big promoter of. Our students can be anything that they possibly want to be. You can do what you set your mind to. Students need to see themselves in others, in teachers, in principals, in superintendents, and scientists. Are we in agreement yes. on this one? And I tell my students, I am that living, breathing model of if you want to do something, you can do it. You know, I grew up very similar to how they grew up. I was like, I am you guys and you can be me and you can be whatever it is that you want to be.